this and then from here we learn that we have three from there we learn about three dim, dim, dimensions of communicative event border is more to dhi discourse historical approach and then from there is a touch yeah important points from last week there you are so here is what Fekler says number uh, Norman Fekler 95 particularly uh, uh, his notion about order of discourse yeah and that in but in communicative event we have have a look at the box text discourse practice and social cultural practice text is more about linguistic units discourse practice is more about text production and consumption and then social cultural practices the broader socio political or ideological context okay so what do we do in cda here you are so this analysis will go like this yep um for example yeah <laughs> for example there is a text yeah that this is an article yeah ini ada sebuah artikel judulnya um critical discourse analysis and why i fucking fucking despise it all right Ini ada sebuah artikel ya di, di blog ada sebuah blog saya barusan baca uh, harusnya saya tampilkan ya uh, blognya ya uh, blog nah di, um, di level text we can talk about the lexical choice kenapa ada kata fucking sun ya yeah. ya yeah. lexical choice of the author and then in the level of discourse practice yeah in relation to text production and consumption we can see blog as convention confession yeah the author's convention and then from socio-cultural practice we need to see it from a broader perspective we need to relate that text or that media text or that online text in relation to power power in media news media or internet all right now let's make it even more practical now have a look at my questions below to help you understand how text may play its role in producing discourse and in shaping society so again we will have a look how text play its role in shaping discourse and in constructing society or in other hand on uh, the uh, the other way around if you look at uh, if you look at uh, look at it from a uh, um, from um, bottom up point of view how society how social culture of press practice shape discourse and construct text have a look at my questions okay now take one to five minutes to try to answer my questions yeah yeah take your time right try to write this in your weekly journal yeah so by jawab uh, pertanyaan pertanyaan ini di, in your weekly journal so you can have more structured answers for these questions All right, I'm, I'm going to uh, send you to uh, breakout rooms to discuss about your answers with your friends. And again, I need you to record your answer um, in, the, um, in your weekly journal. And later, I'll invite you back 
to the bigger room to our main room to uh, present what you have um uh discussed in your uh, breakout rooms let me just show the share first and then I'll, I'll give I'll, I'll send you to the rooms uh so I got 20 so I bet I can have five your uh your um your answers probably i'm not going to talk about the answer for each question uh what were, what would work best is um let me just know um um any insights any issues that you found during uh, during your group discussion um uh, so that we know um 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 things that we need to make clear uh probably well number one um oh, let me just skip number one because i believe you know what it is um can you help me where you can find the trace uh can you tell me where you can find uh, um this uh new normal uh well from any group please let me know where Yes, thank you, Jihan. What in else? social in social media such as Twitter. Yep. Thank you. What else? From our group. Sorry? From where? Uh from our group uh, we yep. answer that we can find those a uh, phrase in news regarding COVID-19. Yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah, Rafi, did you say something? Yeah, from influencer, ma'am. Influencer, yeah, good, good. Yes, of course. Um, it can be um, 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 promoted by influencer. Where else? At this month. Social media, news article, social media. Yes, everyday interaction, yes. Social media, can it be WhatsApp? Can be can it be Twitter, Facebook? Yes. So this text has been there everywhere did you also notice that this phrase is also around you yes ma wherever you go you can see the sign it can be verbal non-verbal can be spoken non-spoken it can be in the form of sign am i right yes ma'am when you go yeah. to an office, when you go to um supermarket or mall, you'll find a lot of signs like this. Yeah. And it, it is manifested. It's it has something to do with the question number uh five, yeah. This ideology or this uh discourse of new normal is manifested in many types of texts in many uh in different uh, uh platform also has something to do with other texts or discourses now number five can you think of the discourses that are related to the phrase what are they action covid 19. physical distancing physical distancing yes very much okay yes psbb psbb of course pcr swap pcr ikm ikm apa itu ikm 3m mem oh 3m okay yes sekarang jadi 5m yes
So this new normal is manifested in so many platforms and so many discourses of text. Yeah, it's promoted particularly. Uh, you haven't mentioned things like this. Uh, tadi belum disebut. Where can you find the place? So it, it, it is everywhere, yeah, even like for us, yeah, uh, uh, government officials, we find this um, a new normal issue, the, this normal, uh, new normal thing in um, like almost every day, yeah, but like every minute we receive like new circular, new regulation in relation to the um, implementation of new normal, okay, edaran tata kerja baru. Oke, okay, kalau Anda di WAG, Anda saya sering post uh, edaran tentang uh, jam uh, tentang perkuliahan, alright? So, uh, and then edaran tentang uh, probably jam buka, jam buka um, mall, jam buka uh, apa uh, restoran, etc. So you find this place a lot everywhere. Yeah. Now think about this. Who initially introduced the phrase? Who? And who promoted it in Indonesia? Government. The government. Yes. Government. government. Yes. One who promoted is public figure. Yes. Uh, influencer. Yes. Of course. Who else? Who initially introduced the phrase? I think WHO. Okay, WHO. Yes, of course. Yeah. And so it was there before, even before, before, before our government used that phrase. All right. So WHO. You right. And then, what is the purpose of the introduction of the phrase? Yes. Right. Thank you. Yeah. To regulate people. Yeah. When when uh when using this term, the promoter, the government in this case, is trying to regulate people. This is where power power plays its role. Yeah. Jadi di sini lah ada power. Ya, ada power masuk ya kata ketika ada kata new normal ya dan itu bisa dilihat in in it is many manifested in many forms even kalau anda naik kereta anda sedang uh, apa itu antre di dokter atau anda sedang di uh, public space anda ada lihat sign tanda silang Tanda silang artinya anda tidak boleh duduk di situ, ya. Yeah. It's there is a kind of power there, ya. Yeah, anda tidak sadar, ya. Yeah, capillary power, ya. Yeah, kalau um, di 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 di, di uh, habemas silang. So power ini um, mempengaruhi di semua lapis masyarakat, government sampai ke RT, bahkan sampai di institusi pendidikan kita. So the new normal itu sudah sangat mempengaruhi sebar bagi kehidupan. So the purpose, the purpose of the, the reduction of the press is to regulate people. People are regulated. There is power there. Yeah. And that's why this phrase is not just a linguistic unit. It is a social practice. It is a powerful word. Yeah. You know? It can affect the way people behave the way people act so many changes around us okay one person please tell me the change that you notice around you each person mention one please the change that you notice around you uh, i think um, the change is like uh people started to apply the help protocol these days such as using masker and doing physical distancing like All that right. thank you Rita. okay next we wash our hands frequently alright yes 
Sanju Anggra. Alright, thank you, Jihan. We are being cautious with people with the symptoms of coughing and etc. Ma'am. Yes, thank you, Valencia. Uh, people more care about their lifestyle. Yeah, thank you, Clara. Um, people do their work uh, from home. Yes, of course, yes, yes. You are still muted, Lulu. Study from home, ma'am. Yes, of course. Yeah. People seek for an antigen swab before traveling out of town. Yes. Body temperature check, ma'am. Yes. Thank you, Mubliha. Uh, people more like maintaining their attitude, like, for example, like when uh, they are sneezing, maybe. When... Yeah, thank you, Nasafa. Take away food, lebih kipilih yes. dari dine-in. Yes, yeah. Take away instead of dining-in. Uh, I think, Fajar, um, we cannot hear your voice. Look, look, did you say anything already? Okay, Nabila. Because again, uh, I want to highlight here that this phrase is a form of social practice. It affects society. Yeah, the order. Yeah, the society order. And that that's why we live differently right uh, right now. As the opposite of the old normal, we are we do we do not we didn't practice we do not practice what we did. Plus, yeah, yeah, our life is just so different. So it's uh, it's manifested in ev our everyday life. Just like uh, take a simple, take a simple uh, 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 example, like uh, somebody said about washing hand, yeah? Uh, before you don't have to wash hand, uh, every minute, every, uh, every time you touch something, um, and now you have to really be aware with your hand cleaning. You bring, you wash your hand and a lot, and then you bring your the spray that hand sanitizer to your, your hand a lot. Yeah, and uh, that's where there is the uh, a meme, a joke uh, posted on uh, WhatsApp. Uh, bahasa Jawa bilang tak tiro kon wisoki di kon maem. <laughs> Mungkin anda pernah lihat ya itu ya. Ya di kon wisoku lah Bali kita kiro kon maem. Nah ternyata tidak. Ya itu uh, that's um, so it affects our society, you, your life right now. And then now it's how. So what's going on here? When we are discussing this whole question sexually, yeah, we are led to the answer of what, what is the ideology? What's the socio-political background of this all, of the introduction of this new normal? You might think, um, like, uh, what is the ideology here? It, it might be, a diff you might take this as a difficult question, but when you are discussing the, the, the answers of the, the questions, you are actually working on the ideology underlying the phrase new normal. Just think of something like this. Yeah, pasti ada alasan kenapa new normal itu diperkenalkan. Yeah. Okay. Pahami ini. Okay. It is to regulate people. Yeah. In response to the, to the outbreak. So the ideology here is not only the ideology, the global ideology, the WHO ideology, the world ideology. It is also our government ideology. How strong the government introduced the, or uh, apply this new normal thing uh, affects 
uh, will have something to do with the effects on society. Jadi kalau pemerintah tidak begitu strong dalam me menerapkan new normal tentu efeknya tidak se-strong pada uh, pemerintah yang strong banget ya Anda tahu bahwa Taiwan ya menerapkan new normal itu dengan sangat ketat mereka punya stronger ideology stronger ideology about this new normal that COVID-19 is a such so, uh, serious problem that's why di sana lebih terkendali Ya, yeah? oke. Okay. But our government is a little bit different because what we have our own characteristics. Orang Indonesia itu yang uh, apa punya karakteristik budaya tertentu, ya, yeah? yang mungkin tidak bukan mungkin diterapkan sama seperti Taiwan. Di Taiwan CCTV di mana-mana, mereka hidup di flat. Ya, uh, uh, apa duduk, uh, apa gedung-gedung bertingkat yang lebih mudah dimonitor. Terus, bagaimana kita bisa memonitor Anda yang berada di mana-mana? Ya, ideologi yang muncul berbeda. When it comes to the uh, implementation in each government, ya, yeah, in each uh, nation, maksud saya. Nah, inilah the ideology underlying the global one, the global ideology under, underlying the introduction of new normal is to regulate people to uh, in order to prevent the outbreak, to uh, inter, uh, reduce the... Uh, nah, again, uh, when uh, ideology itu uh, something that people believe, the background, ini adalah pertanyaan tentang mengapa, why that phrase is introduced. Nah, Anda tahu sendiri bahwa ini sekarang tidak lagi menjadi ideologinya pemerintah. Epil sekarang yes, sudah mulai orang-orang menerapkan. I have my own ideology about new normal, my way of life. It, it has affected my life. Ya. Yeah? Termasuk tadi kalau Anda tak peta, saya tanya tentang efeknya apa saja, you've mentioned them. Nah, itu juga Anda bisa sebutkan tentang uh, misalnya efek ekonomi, efek politik. Sekarang orang lebih suka jualan online, Anda juga belanja online, ya kan? Itu, seperti itu. Nah, kemudian, think, of, think tentang why new normal is applied, is introduced. Itu sudah regulate people. Ya, yeah, you see everywhere. Ya, yeah, anda tidak bisa pergi sebebas ada dulu. Ya, yeah. new normal itu adalah shaping people behavior. You do not live like what you used to live. Ya, yeah, anda berbeda sekarang. The way you live is totally different from our lifestyle last year. Now, saya, I do hope when you are going through these all questions, you understand the working of discourse. Yeah? You understand the working of discourse. And that when you are doing discourse analysis, you need to look at the use of the a certain word, a certain phrase, deeper. Yeah? The example here is very clear. Yeah, the notion and the word, the phrase, new normal. Yeah, uh, and then uh, and then when you bring it into um, you uh, you might when you were talking about this uh, this level, the last level, you you might think something like, oh, this is not easy to figure out the ideology. What kind of power is in play there? Yeah, but. Have a look at this. In the example of the use of new normal, it's it's quite easy to to um I mean to understand how power plays in this kind of discourse, the discourse of new normal. You might be interested in doing this kind of analysis, yeah. And so I do hope. Uh, well, oh no, uh, uh then um. We don't have any more time, guys. So the two paper 
the two uh, research paper that I posted so in, in our WAG, yeah, in your WAG, please go ahead with them, read them, okay? And then now we still have 10 minutes, yeah? Please, um, I need you to go to your weekly journal, yeah? Uh, if there is something that you need to complete, if there is something you need to revise, please go ahead and then save your file in our Google folder, okay? Before we end our class, uh, and I enjoyed discuss, uh, the discussion. I went from uh, one group to another group and I saw people, uh, I could see that people are uh, enjoying the, the discussion as well.